You see how conclusion indicators can be very helpful in reconstructing an argument and figuring out what the argument is. Same thing is true for what we call premise indicators. There are other words that are indicate going to indicate that there are premises coming. And in order to properly reconstruct an argument, you have to be able to identify those premises and the conclusion in all the arguments. And what we li I'd like to do is give you a list of some uh, words that are indicators of conclusions and premises. And let's start with premises, only because premises start before the conclusions, not necessarily when you encounter them in the passage, but when we reconstruct them. Because premise indicator something is true because a premise is coming since for say, given that assuming that provided that as okay and now we're here are examples of some words that are conclusion indicators therefore X, Y, and Z, therefore, this is the case, the conclusion. Hence, so, we may conclude that, thus, recommends that, for this reason. As a result, another word indicates a conclusion is coming from. So there are some words to keep your eyes out for, to spot premises and conclusion. And we'll be doing a bunch of examples to try to give you a better idea about how to figure out what premises are conclu what to figure out how to reconstruct arguments. And in doing so, you're going to have to figure out what are the premises and what are the conclusions. These will be helpful, so you'll refer to these when we start working on some of those.